If you are using Windows 11, it's most likely not fully optimized because you are not using these custom settings. Alright guys, let's start off pretty simple. So the first thing we need to do right now is disable those annoying pop-up notifications. So what you need to do right now is go over here on the search icon and just type in notifications and go over here on notifications and press this little arrow right here. There's three options right here, which all of them will be enabled for you guys. But if you actually want to disable every single notification what you need to do is just disable these three boxes right here just untick them and once you guys have done that go over here on notifications and turn this on off then scroll down until you guys see advanced settings right here and do the same exact thing there's three boxes right here make sure you guys uncheck them next thing to disable are your startup applications so basically anytime you boot up your computer they're constantly running in the background without you even opening them so what you need to do right now is go over here on the search icon once again and uh, type in settings and go over here on the app section and give that a click and uh, look down until you see startup. What I want you guys to do right now is I assume every single um, application right here is going to be enabled for you guys. So what I need you guys to do right now is uncheck the stuff you guys don't need running in your background for me personally let's say i don't want to use my microsoft edge so i'm going to turn this on off i don't want to use my microsoft onedrive so i'm going to turn that on off also all right guys third thing we have to do right now is change your dns server so this has actually been approved by epic games themselves and they recommend you guys do this for a maximum amount of performance so what you need to do right now is go over here on the uh, search icon and type in view network connections just like so and go over here on your internet cable right click on it and click on properties go over here on the internet protocol version 4 and make sure this is enabled click on properties just like so and this is where you change your dns server so as i mentioned there's two dns servers cloudflares and uh, uh google's me personally i use google's so what you need to do right now is go over here on the preferred dns server and type in 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and uh, on the alternate DNS server type in 8.8.4.4 and uh, once you guys have done that just click on um, ok you guys actually want to know which DNS server is going to work for you the best open your um, command prompt just like so and type in ping in lowercase my bad type in ping and my current uh, DNS server which is going to be 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. And here you guys are going to see every single analytic so you guys decide which one you want to use. Now another pretty cool settings I want to show you are updating your GPU drivers and deleting temporary files. So how to actually delete temporary files. What you need to do is hold your Windows button plus R just like so and type in percent temp percent just like so and click on OK. And what you guys need to do right now is just uh, delete every single thing right here trust me this is these are just like uh, temporary files you guys don't need that are just like causing your space and stuff and once you guys have done that what i want you to do is do the same thing again but this time type in temp without the percentage just like so you guys know what you do what you need to do you just select it and click on delete and let's do this one last time do the same thing again and type in prefetch just like so and don't worry just click on continue this is not gonna harm your pc in any way delete and uh that should be it guys now to update your gpu drivers what i would need you guys to do is go over here on the search icon and just type in device manager just like so and what i would need you guys to do right now locate your gpu and as you guys can see this is my gpu right here and what i would need you to do is just right click on it click on update driver and i click on search automatically for the best drivers and uh, the best drivers for me are already installed now there's another pretty cool setting i want to show you go over here on search icon and just type in adjust the appearance on uh, performance of windows so yours by default i think should be set to like let windows choose what's best for my computer but what i do is i select custom right here and uh, what i would need you guys to do is disable things that you guys don't use for me personally i don't use uh, drop shadows i don't use smooth control list boxes i don't use light open combo uh, boxes disable stuff you guys don't necessarily use and for me i found out that these are the best settings for me so what i need to do right now is just click on apply and okay so what we need you guys to do right now is open up your cmd because there's actually two cool settings i want to show you as well so what you need to do right now is go right here and type in cmd make sure you run this as an administrator just type in sfc space 
slash scan now so basically what this will do is this will verify the integrity of every protected operating system on your computer so wait is to actually finish and i doubt there's gonna be something but in case there is even mind doing this because all you need to do is literally just wait oh well so i spoke too soon when i say that i doubt there's gonna be anything but as you guys can see windows resource protection falcor files and successfully repaired them now the last thing we need to do is just disable some services some unnecessary services that are just running in your background so what you need to do is go over here on the search icon and what you guys need to do is just literally just type in services and uh, what i would need you guys to do right now is just disable services that you guys don't use for me personally let's say that i don't use the bluetooth services which is right here bluetooth support service what i need you to do right now is just right click on it click on properties and I'll click on disabled just like so now another service that i use is connected device platform service what i need you to do is um obviously go over here on properties and I'll click on disabled i already i already done that so next thing you do right now is just do the same thing for connected user experiences and uh, telemetry do that also I don't use wallet service and you guys already know the drill right click on it click on properties and i click on disabled and i also don't use windows insider service right click on that click on properties and click on disabled i don't know why i'm saying i'm using it it's just running in my background all right guys so hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial made for you guys and uh let me know down in the comments if you guys actually want me to make a full optimization on windows 11 for maximum amount of performance when you're gaming because this was a little tutorial i made with some little quick tips i had it in uh back of my mind so um it's been your boy chopper and just like always peace out and see you guys next time